Hello. Welcome to my very first YouTube live kids yoga class. I am a little nervous. I don't know how this works. So um, hopefully you're all watching me and you're sitting on your mats. I have mine right here. You can see me play around with this for a little bit. So we can make sure that we can all see what I'm doing. I'm sitting, crisscross applesauce. Very excited to teach a good night yoga kids class. This is a class designed to um, settle you down for the day. I know a lot of you have been busy with online school, but um, hopefully you can take a little break. Mommies can take a break and you guys can play yoga with me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sabe. I teach kids yoga here in sunny Miami. I don't know where you are, but we're on uh, Miami Beach. And I have missed teaching my classes ever since this whole crazy pandemic thing started. So I've been trying to find a way to get in touch with my little yogis. And thanks to the internet, here it is. So who wants to play some yoga? Hopefully all of you out there want to play yoga. Okay, well, I told you already my name. My name is Sabe. And what's your name? What was that? So many great names. I'm excited to be with all of you. Thank you for coming to my class. Um, if you don't know me, um, I start every class with a little song which if you don't know it, you will learn it really quickly. Um, we sit crisscross applesauce. You can sit in lotus if you're comfortable in lotus. Um, just make sure you're nice and comfortable on a mat. You can borrow your mommy's yoga mat, or you can sit on the carpet. I just don't want you to be anywhere that you might um, slip or fall because we will be reading a story, but we're also going to be doing a lot of yoga poses in between. So just make sure you're somewhere where you can't, you know, bump in anything or slip or slide around, okay? All right, so we're going to start. We're going to close our eyes for a minute. And we're going to take a deep breath. And we're going to let it out with our mouth wide open and we're going to make a noise. We're going to go. <sighs> we're going to do this one more time. <sighs> And one more time, let's lift our arms up high. Good job. So let's take our hands, put them together like a prayer in our heart center. And we're gonna sing a quick little song. And it goes like this. Rub your hands, sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Ready? Inhale. Oh. How was that? That was pretty easy, right? You want to do it again? Just to make sure that you got it? Okay. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Everybody inhale. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a deep breath. job everybody that was great those arms fun we have to make them last and keep them super long and then once we're done with the third one we just kind of stay quiet for a little bit just kind of let that sound settle in our bodies and in our space okay all right so i've told you my name you've told me your name 
Now, I want to tell you um, one thing that I miss doing ever since that we've been locked up inside. And I want you to think about something that you miss doing. And what's the one thing that you're really excited to do once we're allowed to get out of our houses, once this whole crazy pandemic is over? I can't wait to get to the beach. I live in Miami, so the beach is kind of in our backyard. Not everyone has a beach near them, but I'm sure you all have hundreds of things that you're dying to undo. It could be going out playing with your friends, go to the park, go hiking, go um, do water sports, or I don't know, if you're up in the mountains, go run around on the mountainside. I don't know. What is the one thing that you wish you could do right now? What's the first thing you're going to do as soon as all this is over and we're allowed outside again? Think about it for a second. All right, I want you to keep that in mind. Okay, so now we are gonna start just stretching a little bit, moving our bodies around so that we're not, you know, stiff. We've probably been sitting in front of computers all day. So it would be nice if we could um, move our bodies around. So we're gonna start by stretching our feet out in front of us and shaking out our legs. Shake, 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 shake. Wiggle our toes. See my toes? Wiggle your toes. Shake those legs. Reach your arms up towards the sky. There you go. Inhale deep and then exhale. Now we're gonna inhale deep and we're gonna exhale. I'm gonna try to grab our toes. There you go. If you can't touch your toes, bend your knees. And then maybe now you can touch your toes. There you go. Exhale right there. Inhale one more time. And let's try to flatten out those legs and reach, reach, reach for those feet. Reach, reach, reach. <sighs> Exhale there. Good job. And one more time. One more time, try to clasp your fingers. <sighs> Good job. How about now we spread our legs open wide. Let's point our toes up towards the sky. I don't know if you can see them on the screen. And let's reach, reach, reach for the center. There you go. <sighs> And then we're going to walk our hands to the right and say hello to our foot here. And then we're going to walk our hands to the left and say hello to this other foot. And then we're going to come back to the center. There you go. And walk your hands back up. There you go. So let's see back. Crisscross applesauce, and we're going to take our right hand and put it on our left knee, and we're going to twist and look behind us. That feels good. And we're going to come back to the center and do the same thing on the other side. Left hand goes on right knee, and we look behind us, and we come back to the center. Good job, let's do a little twist to the side. Take your other arm up. There, let's stretch our side bodies. Good job. Roll our shoulders back, forward, and then sit tall. Good job. Now that we've kind of wiggled and moved around a little bit, we're going to start our story. So I want to share with you one of my favorite good night yoga stories. It is called Good Night Yoga, a pose by pose bedtime story by Miriam Gates. And I said when I announced I was giving this class, it was going to be a bedtime yoga. So if you are in your PJs, then you're going to be ready for bed when this is done. And if you're not, you'll just be you know, chill and relaxed and you'll be ready to get to bed soon enough. But anywho, whatever we learn from this story, 
the poses that we learn are a nice little flow that you can incorporate to your bedtime rituals. So you can tell your mom you need an extra, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes before going to bed so you can do your bedtime yoga flow. All right, so that's what we're gonna learn today. All right, you excited? I'm excited. This is a great way to get ready for bed, to unwind and to settle down. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna read it and we're gonna do the poses. And then we're going to do them all together in a flow, okay? So you have to remember what they're called. The sun in the sky is going down. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, my arms lift up to the sky and then back down like sun rays. You see what she's doing there? She's standing up tall. Everybody stand up tall. You lift up your arms high up towards the sky, like where the sun is. And then you exhale and raise, bring down your arms like sun rays. Snap. All right. Okay. And the clouds float by. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, I bend my knees and Scoop the clouds around me. As I breathe out, I stand tall and release the clouds over my head. All right. Did you guys figure that one out? You can look like a cloud with your hands up and just pretend like you're scooping up the soft, soft, white, fluffy clouds. You see that? Yes. Good job, you might run into a few birdies on those clouds. All right, next up, do you wanna be in my video, Isabel? That's my daughter. She's too big for this yoga class. No, oh, I thought it was, I know. All right. What else do we start seeing in the sky when it's nighttime? Those stars, right? Okay, the stars sparkle brightly. As I breathe in and as I breathe out, I stretch my arms out wide towards the stars. What do the stars do in the sky? They twinkle. Twinkle your fingers. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Yes, and really stretch, stretch, stretch. Arms are, are wide apart, so are your feet. Stretch and twinkle. Yes, good job. All right, next up, as the moon rises high. Don't we love looking at the moon and the beautiful sky at night? Yes, we do. As I breathe in and as I breathe out, my spine is long and I bend to each side like a crescent moon. Everybody, they're still standing, right? Put your hands together and you stretch to the side. And then you inhale because we do everything on one side the same as we do on the other. Exhale to the other side. Stretch, stretch, stretch like a crescent moon. You see her? See? You do the same thing on both sides. All right. So what are where are the birds going once the sun goes down. The birds are flying to find a little nest to go to sleep, right? So what do we do? The birds are flying back now to their little nests in the trees. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, I focus on one point and use my arms to soar. So I'm going to use Peace Bear. I'm going to sit him right in front of me. And when you do this, try to find one thing that you want to focus on, okay? You might not see all of me, but we're going to stand with our legs together. We're going to look at one point and we're going to lift our bottom leg and we're going to use our arms like birdie wings. Okay. Work on your balance. You got this. All right. We're going to do the other leg. We have to do the same thing on both sides. Use your arms to flap like the wings of a bird. 
There you go. Lift up that back leg. Remember to look at one thing in front of you. You can put a toy. You can put a little stuffed animal. You can put a shoe. Anything you want. Just look at one point to keep your balance. There you go. Good job. All right. Next. Oh, look at this beautiful drawing. Look, she turned into a tree. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's where the birds were going. The birds are flying back now to their homes in the trees. Yes, they are. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, my shoulders roll back, my heart is open, and I am solid like a tree. See, this is who knows how to do tree pose. I'm sure a lot of you do. Again, keep something right in the center in front of you so you don't lose your balance. And we are going to pretend that we're trees. So we're going to lift our leg and we're gonna put the sole of our foot on our inner thigh. Or we can keep it down here. We can even keep it right here. Just let's try not to push into our knee because we might hurt our knees. So wherever you choose to put your foot, keep it there. Focus on one point in front of you and you can use your arms and pretend like they're branches. You might not be able to see all of me, but I know that you guys are moving your arms around. You can also keep your arms steady right here. You can keep them right here. We're gonna to count to five. One, hold it. Two, come on, you got this. Three, four, five. Good job, shake those legs out. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Remember, you can put your foot wherever you want. What? That one's a little tricky for me. Okay, there you go. Use your arms to find balance, to pretend like you are branches, but remember to be firm and solid like a tree. There you go. One, two, three, four, Five, good job. All right, that was our tree pose. Okay, next up, let's see what else happens when the sun goes down. <gasps> the ladybugs, the ladybugs settle softly. Aren't they adorable? Where do they settle in their little leaves on the tree? We'll go back to the previous, we'll probably see. I don't show any of the ladybugs. I guess they're too little. So, as I breathe in, as I breathe out, my palms press together and I squat on my leaf. The ladybug. If you've been in my class before, you know that once we do ladybug pose, we walk on our mat. So who remembers how to walk like a ladybug? You can walk backwards. You can walk forwards. But always stay low and keep your hands together. That's our ladybug pose. Look at this. All right. As I breathe in, as I breathe out, my feet press together and my knees spread out like butterfly wings. This is one of my favorite poses. See, so the ladybugs settle softly between the butterflies. Okay, so what do we do? We take our feet, put them together, let our knees open up. Let me see if I move this camera a little bit. You can see how I open up my I'm 
open up your feet. This is butterfly pose. We can make little antennas, like little butterfly antennas, and we can flap our wings. And if we want to go a little bit further, we can pretend that this, our feet here, is our own book. So we open up the pages of our book. If this was my book, it would be all about mermaids. What would your book be about? If you open up this book and you can make it be whatever you wanted it to be, what would your book be about? It could be about anything. All great books. So let's pretend that we're reading our beautiful book. I'm reading my book about mermaids. Open up your knees. We're gonna take deep breaths here. Flap those pages of your book. If you want to take a closer look at your book, start lowering your head down. Keep your hands on your book. Try to read those pages up close. And we're going to count to five here. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. We can close our book. Close it up tight. Let's cross our legs and give ourselves a big hug. Let's get back to our story, okay? All right. So now we know that the ladybugs have settled down with the butterflies. Oh, and between the bees. Look at those busy bees. They have to sleep sometime, don't they? As I breathe in, I sit up tall and reach my arms back like wings. As I breathe out, I buzz my head to the ground. So why don't we get on our knees? Let's sit on our, on our heels. Let's reach out our arms to the back like wings, we can clasp our fingers, and let's lower our back, lower up our face down to the ground. Can you see that little bee with the striped shirt? Look at that little boy. We're gonna count to five here. One, two, three, four, Five. Slowly lift your body back up. You can stay on your knees, sitting on your heels. Because now, the little blue cat who lives in the moon, who knows cat pose? As I breathe in, as I breathe out, I arch my back like a cat. So let's get on all fours. And let's arch, 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 arch your back and look at your belly button. There you go. One more time. And one more time. And who knows what sound a cat makes? I have one student who's very, very, very fond of cats. So I know that this is her favorite pose. I think you know who you are. So give us a big meow. There you go. Okay. So this little blue cat who lives in the moon, whispers, good night, world. You'll be dreaming soon. Oh, look at this wonderful pose to fall asleep. And this is what we call child's pose. 
As I breathe in, as I breathe out, I sit back on my heels and round, sit still and round like the earth. Look at that. Can you always do that? You know how to do child's pose. Whenever you're tired, whenever we're playing yoga, I always tell you to sit back on your heels, lower your head to the ground into what we call child's pose, also mouse pose. I want you to stay in child's pose. I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you can sit up. Get back into crisscross applesauce. So do you guys feel confident that you learned all the poses that we went over? Because now we're gonna do them all together, like one after the other into a little good night yoga flow. Does that sound good? Does that sound like fun? Great. So, let's stand up. I'm gonna move back so you can see me. Everybody stand on your mat. And I'm gonna call out the names of our poses. Okay. All right, so I'll give you a hand for the first one that comes in. We start with what happens when nighttime is about to start. The sun goes down, right? Okay, so everybody arms up. Inhale up. Arms down like sun rays. I think I should be watching you closer. Inhale your arms up over your head and exhale your arms back down. Sun. There it is. All right. What happens? In the sky, who is like floating around in the sky? The clouds. Yeah, so let's sway around like the clouds that scoop up those wonderful fluffy clouds. Yes. And then we see the stars. Stretch out your arms wide, your feet wide, and twinkle, 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 twinkle their fingers. Twinkle your toes, twinkle your toes. Stretch out wide. There you go. Then who shows up in the sky? It's a half moon today. All right. Palms together. Yes, good job. Then we go to the other side. Yes, let's stretch those sides. Just like a crescent moon. Okay. Who else is flying around trying to find somewhere to go to sleep? I think it's the birds, right? So let's lift up our right leg. Let's look at one point in the center in front of us. And let's flap those arms like wings of a bird. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are we looking for? Good job. Feet together. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's fly around like little birdies. Yes. Good job. Good job. So we're going to make our way to a nice tree. And the tree is waiting for us with its beautiful branches all laid out so that we can find a nice little spot to land and nest for the night. Yes. Good job. Let's see those trees. Let's see those trees. Remember, you can make branches with your arms. You can move them around like they sway in the wind, but your base is firm and strong. There you go. All right, now let's switch sides. Let's make a tree with this side. Yes, you can move your arms around. You can keep them still. Anything that'll help you keep your balance. Remember, your eyes should be looking at somewhere right in front of you. I'm looking at the book. Yes, there you go. Move those arms around. Move those arms around. Yes, good job. Starting to get shaky. 
breathe. Tuck in your belly, breathe. Inhale, exhale, don't hop. Don't fall over, don't hold on to furniture. You can hold on to furniture, I don't need to fall down. You can hold on to your mommy. You can hold on to your brother or your sister. But what's important is that you stay grounded and focused on one point. Your eyes help you keep your balance. All right, good job. Here are ladybugs. So after we become a tree, they turn into little ladybugs. You're gonna walk back and forth like ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to the back of your mat. Now come back. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to take this position and we're going to lower our butts to the floor and we're going to turn into butterflies. So we're going to put our feet together. We're going to clasp our fingers around our, our toes and we're going to flap our little butterfly wings. There you go. Maybe, maybe our little butterflies have antennas, right? So they're flapping their wings. And then they want to get maybe a little sip of water. So let's lower our faces down and drink some water. Everybody drinking some water? Yeah. Oh, that felt good. Hold on to your feet. Flap those wings. Let's keep flapping. Let's count to five. Let's make those flaps count. One, two, three, four, five. Now we get to be bees. So let's get on our knees, sit on our heels, and lower our heads to the ground. Let's clasp our hands behind us and let's make a little, let's use our pointing fingers. There you go. We're little bees with our stingers. See our stingers? Put your hands like this and make a little bee stinger. There you go. Good job. Busy bees get tired too. So we're all getting ready to rest. Good job. Okay. All right. What about that cat that lives on the moon? He must be sleepy too. He wants to go to sleep. So let's do some cat stretches. Let's arch our back, look at your belly button, tuck in your belly button. If you like cats, you like this pose. Let's arch our back one more time. Want to hear your meows? Let's arch our back one more time. Finally, we're gonna press our butts onto our heels and we're gonna go into child's pose. And we're gonna stay here while I count to 10. Everybody, are you still in child's pose? Stay in child's pose. One, take deep breaths. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And lift yourself up slowly come back to crisscross applesauce. And now, do you guys think you've learned the good night yoga flow? Yeah? You think you're ready to do it by yourselves? What if I call out the postures? Will you know what to do? I think you will. Do you want to try?
one last time, just to make sure that you've learned it, okay? I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna tell you. Maybe I'll show you a picture, maybe, okay. So, the good night yoga flow starts now. Sun, sun pose. I won't say anything, I won't say anything. Cloud pose. Star pose. Those beautiful twinkly stars. I'm not going to say anything else. Half moon pose. On one side, half moon pose on the other side. All right, remember to inhale, lengthen your spine. Yes, let's do the other side again. And let's do the other side again. Yes, good job. Bird pose, remember to put something right in front of you real quick. Lift up one leg. I won't say anything more, bird pose. And bird pose on the other side. Remember to look at one thing. Flap those beautiful wings. Keep your balance. Don't hop. All right, you can come down. Tree pose. Who knows tree pose? You all remember tree pose. Use your arms as beautiful branches. Use your arms. Remember to stay focused on one, one spot right in front of you on the floor. Tree. You can lock your arms with your mommy. You can lock your arms with your brother, your sister, and you can do tree pose together. And now we're gonna do tree pose on the other side. Switch legs. Lift up that heel. I won't say anything else. Branches. Good job. Ladybug. Where are my little ladybugs? Let me see. Yes, ladybugs. You're going to walk all the way to the back of your mat to the count of eight. Walk backwards as a ladybug. Hands together. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Stay low. Come back to the front, to the top of your mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you at the top of your mat? Eight. Good job. Now lower your butt all the way to the ground and become a butterfly. Butterfly pose. Yes. All right, I want you all to flap your wings. I'm gonna count backwards from 10, okay? As you flap your wings, little antennas, you can hold on to your feet if you want, or you can keep your antennas on, just flap. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now take those antennas. Lower your head to get a sip of water. You deserve it. Get a sip of water. Come back up. Good job. B, who remembers how to turn into a B? I didn't say anything. B, 
We're going to hold that for deep breaths in B pose. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Cat pose. I want to hear those meows. Arch your back. Arch your back. Meow. Arch your back. Look at your belly button. Meow. Two more times. Arch your back. And then release. Meow. One more time. Arch your back. Release. Good job. And then we go in to child's pose. I want everybody to go into child's pose. And I'm going to put a song to help you all relax. And I want you to take deep breaths, deep, deep breaths in child's pose. At least 10 breaths. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I want you to lift up your head slowly. A big smile, big, big smile. And now we're going to go into what we do in every class. It's called a noodle test. Why is it called a noodle test? Because we lie on our backs and we pretend like we're a noodle floating in water. What does a noodle float do when it's floating in the water? Nothing, it just floats. And it doesn't do anything, and it doesn't have to lift anything or strain anything or move anything. It just floats fluidly, just like a noodle, okay? All right, so normally when I'm teaching a class in front of you, I will come around and if, Peace Bear is in the noodle test. I will come and I will check his legs, check his arms and his hands and his head and make sure that he's really being a good noodle. So those of you who have been to my class, most of you really like this part. It's a great chance to just not do anything or think about anything, just floating like a noodle. So now we're gonna have to do that on our own. So what we can do is we can lie on our back with our hands by our sides and our palms facing up. So everybody lay down. Everybody lay down on your back. I'll give you a second. You can take a deep breath in and let a long breath out. And just today, we're gonna imagine that we're lying on a white puffy cloud, which is kind of like being a noodle because the cloud is doing the work of floating around and you're just lying on it. Just feel yourself sink into the softness as the cloud lifts you up, 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 up into the air. You're floating and the cloud is rocking back and forth. And your cloud is taking you somewhere you love to be. Remember, you can also remember the place that we were thinking about when the class started. What you want, where you want to be when this is over, when we're allowed outside again. Think of that place, that magical place that you want to go to when this is over. That wonderful place maybe has colors sounds that you just simply adore and that you miss so much. So I just want you to visualize those in your brain. Just imagine all of that in your head right now. 
and feel how good it's going to be to be there. And I want you to inhale deep as you float. And exhale. Take deep breaths. And mommies, if you're around, you can check your little floating noodles. They're lying on their back like this, just kind of lift up their legs, their feet. You might even want to give them a little foot massage to help them relax. Just make sure they're not making any effort. You might want to rub their temples just a little bit. Press, gently press their shoulders down so they can really relax. Again, check their legs. Another one. Make sure those arms are flopping. You can massage the palms of their hands too. Always feels good. Make sure their eyes are closed. You might want to scratch the crown of your head a little bit softly. Just make sure they're relaxed. Totally relaxed. I want you to keep visualizing that you're floating on a cloud. You can also pretend you're floating in water, whichever is your happy place. Just want to make sure you're not doing anything. Don't think about homework. Don't think about school. Don't think about chores. Right now, you don't think of anything other than that magical place you want your cloud to take you. All you have to do Enjoy the ride. Enjoy. I'm going to take deep, deep breaths. Inhale. Just feel how your belly goes up and down with the inhale and the exhale. Take a deep breath again. Your eyes closed and exhale. Just relax. Just feel all of the love that surrounds you. Now, together, if you're ready, our cloud, our magical cloud, can start bringing us down. Keep your eyes closed, and it'll settle you gently back down on the earth, on your mat, right where you started. And as your cloud is pulling away, it takes with it anything that's troubling you, anything that you're worried about, anything that you're scared about. Whoosh, it takes it all away. All gone. So it won't bother you anymore. Keep your eyes closed. You should be left feeling calm, peace, and happiness inside you. I want you to slowly start twinkling. Twi yes, twinkle your toes, just like we did in star pose. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your hands, fingers. Slowly start feeling your body again. I want you to take, bend your knees, hold them to your chest, hug your knees to your chest while you're still lying, you're still lying on your mat. Your eyes are still closed. Give yourself a big hug. And I want you to say, I love you out loud to your body because our bodies are what keep us safe 
every day. They take us everywhere we need to go. They let us do all these crazy yoga poses. Let's say thank you to our body. Let's say I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Never be embarrassed to tell yourself that you love yourself. So give yourself a big hug and you can rock on your spine a little bit, back and forth, side to side. And then I want you to roll on your side and gently push yourself up and come back to sitting in front of the screen where I am in crisscross applesauce waiting for you. Your eyes are now open. You feel relaxed. You feel good. You stretched your body. You learned some new yoga poses. You did some movement. And you did a great floating noodle test. You all passed with flying colors. You did a great job. You should be very proud of yourselves because it's not easy to lay still without falling asleep. I want you to roll your shoulders back. I want you to scoop up a beautiful flower with your hands and I want you to bring it to, to your nose and take a big inhale because this is the yummiest smell that you've ever smelled in your life. One more time. And the last one, inhale. And now we're going to do our little goodbye song. It's also very easy. If you've never sang it, you're going to be able to get it really quickly. So let's start with our hands in prayer. Right in front of our, the center of our heart center, right here. Okay. And we're going to sing... My little light falls to your little light. Your little light falls to my little light. My little light falls to your little light. Mama Do it one more time. Okay. My little light falls to your little light. Your little light bows to my little light. My little light bows to your little light. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. That's what namaste means. The light inside me honors, respects, and loves the light that is inside of you, of every single one of you. And I'm so happy that you came to play yoga with me. And today was a chill class. But for all of you that know my classes, we know we have some classes that are a lot more like action packed and we do some more challenging poses. But today was a day to relax and to chill. So next time we'll do some silly sun dances and we'll learn some new poses. And I have a fun card game that shows us different poses so that we can all learn them. And then maybe we can have a yoga dance party. I don't know. I'll think of something. But I hope to see you in a week's time at the same time right here in front of your screen playing yoga with me. So I hope everyone has had fun and have a great evening. And mommies, thank you for putting your kids in front of the screen for me today. Bye, everybody. Take care.